Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Seska Travel EP relaunch. Ayan. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for being here. Thank you very much no, for spending your afternoon with us. So I am Simone Dimalibot, your event host. And so we just like to acknowledge the presence of special people here in this room. And so we have our artists as well no, from ABS-CBN Music. We have Jisha Denise. And we have Sab. I saw Jeremy G earlier. Is he still here? Wow. We, uh, hello. And of course, we have our star music bosses. And Sir Roxy, Sir John, and of course, our star pop label head, Sir Rox. And of course, the whole star pop family is here. Of course, we'd also like to acknowledge AOR family. And thank you po for being here. Of course, Seska's family and friends. Ayan, thank you very much for being here. Yeah, we are here for a very special event. Um, I was very excited to be tapped um, to host this program because, you know, um, we are going to be um, serenaded by a very special girl. And so to introduce her, um, she is a Filipino visual and multimedia artist singer, songwriter, and the poster child of this generation's woes and wits. And she has Taylor Swift, Gary Granada, uh, Neil Sedeca as her inspirations for her music. So she smoothly mixes Tagalog and English for penning emotionally mature lyrics. And so for her age, her songs are very, very... Um, Heart touching and mature. So it is my honor to introduce one of ABS CBN Music Management Group's artists, Seska. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for making it today. Wow, so many familiar faces. Hello. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm Seska. And today, I would like to share with you all my first ever EP, which is Travel. Um, and first of all, before I begin, I guess I just want to start this off by saying that the people who are invited here today are all intentionally you know, chosen by me, because either you guys have been part of my musical journey or you've just been there to support me throughout all of it. So I guess you've either listened to my demos with me or you've listened to my SoundCloud stuff back when I wasn't signed in a label yet, or um, you've written songs with me at one point, and, or you've given me that one push that I needed to just get into this industry. It's, it's just, it's such a blessing getting to know every single person in this room. So yeah, I'd like to start this off with a big thank you. So yeah. <laughs> so I guess, <laughs> so I guess I'll share a little bit about this EP. So this EP was, it was something I wrote back when I was in high school. Right now, I'm in college. I'm about to graduate. Um, but I wrote this back in, in high school when, when I was younger and I felt everything twice. Like, nothing was weightless and everything was a defining moment for me. And I think that's the best time to write, don't you guys think? Like, you feel everything times two. Ganun. Ganun siya ka intense. And it's, it's your formative years na ang sarap, it's nice to write about your formative years because so much things happen. And I guess that's just what travel is to me. Um, then I just want to share, I guess I'll start with this first song that has, has brought me where I am today. And it's track number one of um, the, the EP and it's called Love Sick. And... <laughs> Love Sick has carried me <laughs> through TikTok and Spotify and all of these platforms. But, you know, Love Sick was just a song that, you know, 17-year-old Cheska wrote about her crush in high school. Na hindi naman niya pinapansin. Because, you know, there was this guy. 
<laughs> there was this guy in school. He would always go to our classroom. He's not even from my class. And then, pansin ko lagi siyang dumadaan doon. Wala lang. And because, you know, his best friend is my classmate. And, you know, he'd always visit the room. I, I just thought he'd visit him instead of me. Because hindi ako assuming. Um, and, you know, one day, I just, I just came home. And I just, I mean, every time I would see him, I'm so nervous. Like, hindi ko siya kinakausap, hindi ko siya pinapansin. Para lang siyang anino. I, I'm not gonna, if I like someone, I just don't, I just don't interact with them. Um, and I guess, you know, this feeling of puppy love, and it feels a lot like being sick. Because I mean, when you're around this person, you don't really know what to do with yourself. You're a mess. You're, you're not yourself. You're, you're, you control yourself too much around this person. And there was this one time I was sleeping in class. Tapos pag dilat ko, andyan na siya. So ibig sabihin, he probably saw me like nakanganga and everything. Tulo laway. Um, and when I got home, this, this, like a bunch of words were like playing in my head na, hey, I think I'm sick with some sort of disease. Tapos parang yun na yun. And I got my guitar, and I played a random, a random tune, and then that's how Lovesick was kind of just farted out <laughs> by high schooler Cheska. And, you know, I was, was, as I was writing, sabi ko, ano mo ba? every time I have a crush, it's like, this is it. I'm, I'm about to get really hurt. Like, this is the part where it's going to hurt once I have a crush. And... A verse came into my head. It's from Proverbs 4. It says, um, But above all things, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Then I said, Oh, nga, no. every time that I'm in love, ako, sabak agad. I don't really guard my heart. I don't really think about it. And this was the first time that I was able to do that, I guess. So that's how I came up with, um, Oh, Lord, guard my heart, for it is too weak for love. Because... Isn't our hearts just so weak? <laughs> Lalo na pag in love ka. And yeah, that's how Lovesick was made. And so yeah, this is Lovesick. <laughs> Just cannot be held Romantic comedies To blame, oh don't look at me Is that the main cause of this mess? Hey, I think I'm sick with some sort of disease Is it your eyes or is it just me?
so much for giving love the love you. This next song, okay, I'll just continue where I left off. So this next song is about the same guy. <laughs> yes, it's about the same guy. We're still with the same character in the same story. <laughs> um, yeah. So this, yeah, you know, so, you know, people graduate high school and we grow up and then we leave. He literally left abroad <laughs> where I couldn't reach him. So when he graduated, he decided to study abroad and he was out of reach and then I had no choice but to move on and you know three years later I'm in college and I'm talking to a common friend of ours and we're on call and she's and she tells me hey you know what I was talking to okay so in high school we called him Mr. D our code name for him was Mr. D which is like that that's that it defeats the whole point of a code name because code names are supposed to be very secretive I, we could have called him I don't know, electric fan, aircon. We could have called him anything but Mr. Anyway, <laughs> high school. Um, so she says, hey, you know what? I was talking to Mr. D yesterday. And you know what? Apparently you were his high school crush. <gasps> and then I said, after three years, I find out. Three years. And, you know, I, I, I call the girls and I'm like, he liked me back. He liked me back the whole time and I did not know because we never talked. <laughs> I mean, rarely. Um, and you know, I, I was having dinner with one of a friend, like a friend of my parents. And you know, they're a really cute couple in their 40s. And you know, naturally you ask them, oh, paano kayo nagkakilala? How did you guys meet? And you know, the wife, the tita, she just tells me, oh, yeah, we were in high school. Tapos umami na ko sa kanya. And then sabi ko, yun yun eh. Yun yun, that was the one thing that I was not able to do. Because I was busy ako magpaka, Lord, Lord guard my heart. <laughs> Hindi ako umamin. <laughs> um, yan tuloy. <laughs> um, so I wrote this. You know, I got home and I decided to write about what would be a song that I would have sung to him if I could time travel three years back. At nakapag-amin ako. So that's how I came up with Pambihirang Harana. So, <laughs> here's Pambihirang Harana. <laughs> Bagi 
So that was Bombi Ranghalana. So uh, this next song is, it's one of the hardest songs I've had to write because um, it's an apology to someone. And you know, apologies are hard to write because kailangan mong baba, ibaba yung pride mo. Yeah. This next song is, about someone that I've heard before, and uh, this song is Dahlia. And, you know, it, it has a music video, and it, it's about two girls. And a lot of people have been asking me, Sino ba si Dahlia? Sino ba kasi si Dahlia? At lagi mo siyang kinakanta. Um, yeah, Dahlia was a girl from, she was from my high school. Um, and it just so happened that we loved the same person. And that person loved the both of us at the same time. <laughs> um, and, you know, we never really confronted each other about it. Yeah, never. And, you know, I... Um, Dahlia was someone that was, you know, she was a very sweet girl. She's very approachable, very charming. Actually, ang ganda niya, no high school kami. And, you know, I guess as as a young teenage girl, na shampoo pag nakita mo may karibal ka, <laughs> shampoo sa sungitan mo and everything. <laughs> Hindi kita kakaibiganin. We're not. This is a competition. <laughs> um, but you know, I I I breezed through high school and I watched her fall in love with the guy that you know I love, and I watched them ruin each other because they were toxic together. And everyone knew that, and the school knew that, and every the faculty knew that, other sections knew that, other grade levels knew them. Um, and what's even worse was, you know, Dahlia got a really, she got a pretty terrible reputation in the school. But knowing her initially from before they were in a relationship, she was actually a pretty nice girl. You know, I honestly think we could have been friends. And, you know, two years ago, it was my birthday. And it's, it's a joke of ours that the guy remembers my birthday because her birthday is right before my birthday. <laughs> or, it's, or the other way around. And, you know, um, she greets me on my birthday after, after many years of, you know, us not talking. And I said, oh, yeah, belated happy birthday because I remember that her birthday was just beside mine. And then I thought, you know what? We could have been friends. We could have been friends. And we had this, I don't believe in star signs, but we had the same star signs. And it was a running joke um, that the guy had a type or something. Um, but as I was writing Dahlia, I had to bring, I had to, I realized that as I wrote this song, I have to, number one, I had to grow up. <laughs> and I had to admit to myself that I wasn't really the best person during this time. And I wrote this as an apology to her that sana nakita ko yung sakit na nararamdaman niya kasi pareho lang din naman kami nasaktan. Tinulungan na lang sana namin yung isa't isa <laughs> rather than just two girls trying to like bring each other down. So this is this is Dahlia. <laughs> Ang 
Dalia. Sana hindi makita ni Dalia to. Nakakahiya. <laughs> Sana lang. Kaya wag niyo na siyang hahanapin, please. Pagbigyan niyo na ako. So, so, napagod ako kay Dalia. <laughs> Nakakapagod siyang isulat. Nakakapagod siyang kantahin. Um, yeah, this next song is actually kind of, kind of related to Dalia because isn't it just so sad when girls don't build each other up when all they do is tear each other down. Because I, I was one of those girls na super competitive akong tao. Um, and, I, and I was, you know, during my formative years, I was very, I was a very insecure 17 year old. <laughs> so um, growing up means that, you know, I have to find san ba yung security ko as a person. Um, and I found that in God. But anyway, um, this next song is also about another it's about a girl it's about a friend that i had in high school um and this song her name is um she was my best friend from high school that we did almost everything together 
We shared so much memories and we had so many plans. Balak pa namin pumunta ng Korea, ng Japan. Natuloy ba? Hindi naman. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, we used to have the same values and we used to have the same, you know, vision in life. And then all of, uh, people change and sometimes they grow apart. And we realized na nag na yung values namin. Mahirap ka ibigani ng isang tao na, you know, just to have this constant person in your life and you don't have the same values. And I had to learn that by, you know, I had to let her go. And, you know, part of growing up with other people is just growing apart and falling apart. And um, this song is also about our memories in high school. Um, yeah, uh, this, uh, this girl, her locker was right above my locker. And she likes to draw. So her locker was filled with drawings of her favorite bands, and she loves calligraphy and all of that. And I, my locker was right below hers, because I'm Marites. And I wanted to see what was in her locker, because it looked so interesting. And then I kind of pestered her about it. And you know, she's a shy person, so she wouldn't really show me her drawings until nakulitan na siguro siya sa akin. Pinakita niya, and that's how we became friends. And, you know, we bonded over music. We wrote songs together. And we'd freak out. Iniiyakan namin yung One Direction, yung mga documentaries nila. Um, and we would just do what girls do in high school, I guess. And I, I kind of missed that kasi yun yung nawala sa akin when I had to grow up. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, her name is, it's a very, actually, sa lahat ng mga kanta, sa her name ako naiiyak, <laughs> which is so weird because it's the, it's the least dramatic one, but it's a genuine, it's a genuine loss. So, um, I want to perform her name with just, it's just me and my guitar, para lang marinig niyo yung kwento ng this friend, like, the cuento ng kaibigan na to, um, when we were in high school, so, I hope you enjoy her name. <laughs> Days we would keep 
our separate ways And though all these those times When we felt so alive Cause I'm used to you still being around And now I can't hear a single sound from you Cuatro di alam kung sa patungo sa pati derecho para lang makipagkwentuhan kay buong araw magkasama tinit nagam ang magsama. Thank you so much for her name. Munti ka na ako, medyo umiyak doon. <laughs> Sabi ko sa inyo yung her name, sa her name ako naiiyak talaga out of all of the songs. Um, I guess because losing a sister is more painful than losing a lover, I guess. Kasi diba, sisters, you're supposed to be crying to them, not about them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's her name. But it's only gonna get more ouchy from here. Um, because today I'm, I wanna, ang pinaka focus talaga ng araw na to is, um, just this one song that it was so hard for me to share. Um, it was so hard for me to give this song out because it exposes the most toxic relationship I've ever been in in my 20 years of living. Um, and it takes courage, I guess, to admit that when you're in a toxic relationship, you're not always in the right. Na minsan magkakahawaan, kaya nga toxic, di ba? Kasi magkakahawaan kayo ng mga toxic traits niyo. And you become kind of, kind of copies of each other. I think that's the most toxic relationship you could ever be in. Um, and I wrote this song for this one person that I thought na pag tinitignan ko siya dati, parang, okay, the future is uncertain, but I know na ikaw, nandito ka, kahit ano man yung future na yun. And we were talking one day, and I asked him, tingin mo, what, what if we were strangers? What if hindi tayo magkakilala sa lifetime na to? Would we be really different people from who we are now? And I had no idea that I was about to find out. Um, and I guess writing this song named entitled What If, I just wrote down all lahat ng what ifs, sinulat ko na, linista ko na, linigay ko sa isang kanta, just so I don't have to think about it anymore. Na I, a friend told me that when you write things down, it makes more sense. I think that's what what if is to me. Na I wrote down all of these what ifs para mapakawalan ko na siya. Hindi ko na siya iisipin. Because all of these what ifs are really not worth it. Because I know that it's guaranteed that if I stayed in this relationship, masisira ako. So, I guess writing this was just, it was very spontaneous. Tuloy-tuloy siya. Actually, isang upuan ko lang ginawa si what if. And it's also my very first English Tagalog song to ever write. And English Tagalog, dahil feeling, dahil tingin ko that's how I can best describe yung relationship na yun. Um, and today, I'm not gonna be singing it for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be acting it. I'm gonna be acting it out for you guys today. Um, and I just wanna thank. Um, Alasinko Imedia for um, producing this this very vulnerable piece. 
Um, and today we are going to watch the music video for What If? And it's a short film featuring um, Miki from BGYO. And I'm going to be here. So, yun lang. <laughs> How do we forgive ourselves for all the things we didn't become? I'm Short film, grave, grave, emotions. 
Lahat ng tao, sis ka, grabe. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. But I have to continue this, so... <laughs> yeah, so we just have a short kwentuhan ayan, about the MV, of course. Um, how was the process of uh, shooting this music video? I... <laughs> I was actually really scared to shoot this because sabi kailangan na umiyak ako. <laughs> but most importantly, I had to revisit a lot of memories and reenact them, which is hard when you're coming from a toxic relationship. So I guess I think that day what really helped me was, I mean, the people that supported me on that day, especially my parents. So um, also, I also ko rin talaga kasi yung araw na yun. <laughs> So I'm just glad that um, it, because it's only, only, only shoot namin ilang hours yun, um, and I'm just grateful that I was, God was able to sustain me on that day. So ayon. ayon. I was about to ask, no, what was the most challenging part? Of course, this is you know Seska leading lady era, de ba? So what was the most challenging part about um, shooting the MV? Crying. <laughs> Crying is so hard on command, um, and this, this there was a scene where aaway na ako ni Miki. Sabi ko sa kanya, kailangan ganit ka sa akin ganon. Para maramdaman ko na um, I'm revisiting these very genuine memories, and um, I had to run after him sa pintuan ng bahay, and he has to slam it in front of me, and then I cry, and then I was thinking, paano kong iyak? <laughs> Matagal na to. I'm healed. <laughs> I don't want to feel this pain anymore. Um, but um, Derek said na um, hinga ka lang. Hinga. Hinga sa ilong. Hinga sa ilong. And I tried. Hinga sa ilong. Tapos maya maya, nagluluha na yung mata ko. Praise God! <laughs> so I think that was the hardest. Um, but apart from that, it's really, you know, reconnecting with the memories that weren't so good. So, ayan. Ayan, so may tip na tayo. Hinga sa ilong. Hinga ayan, sa ilong. Pag kailangan natin umiyak for anything. Ayan, so speaking of Mickey, you know, what was it like finding out na he was your leading man? And how was it working with him? Um, actually, we met before the shoot. And then, chinika ko lang sa kanya yung kwento ng music video. And he was very, actually... Pwede, pwede na siya. Pwede na siyang mag-artista. Pwede na siyang mag-acting. I mean, I'm just really, um, I was really happy that I was able to be a part of Mickey's first um, um, feature where he's gonna act. Like, purely act. Um, and I'm just really happy that he was able to portray the kind of guy that I was dealing with before. <laughs> so, ano naman, um, I commend him on that part naman. So, yeah. Alright, thank you, Seska. Of course, ikaw din. Ang galing-galing mo din dun sa music video. Pareho kayo. And grabe yung chemistry nila, diba? So, gusto ko lang din inform kayong lahat trending po ngayon. Si Namiki and Seska and the MV. Ayan, leading up to its premiere. So, would you like to invite everyone, ayan, to watch? Yes, I would like to invite everyone to watch the What If music video on ABS-CBN Music's YouTube channel. So, go check it out. <laughs> so, I will alight the stage now and give the floor back to you. Of course, you. the relaunch is not yet done. So, go, Seska. Thank you, Ate Simone. <laughs> um, so, this, fa this last song is the same title as my EP, and it's called Travel. And siguro everyone, everyone naman has their own kind of travel. May sarili, may kanya-kanya tayong biyahe sa buhay. And, you know, before, when I was, I was going through a lot, and fresh pa yung what eh, fresh pa yung all of those dramatic experiences. And, most of the time, you don't really know where to go. You lose, you kind of lose this sense of direction when you're drowning in problems. So, I wrote "Travel." It's kind of an escape song. It's it's a song where sabi ko, ayoko na dito. I just wanna go home. Alam mo when you're a kid and naiwan ka sa kinder kindergarten class and your parents leave you and you're like ayoko na dito. I wanna go home. It feels like that. It feels like that after. 
after all of the problems, you just want to go back to your family, to your comfort people. And I, I wrote travel for that. Um, that it's just really important na alam mo kung kanino ka uuwi at paano ka uuwi. So, travel has an extended track. It's a Tagalog song called Ma Pa Uwi Na. And it's, a, it's actually about my Lola because I call her Ma. Um, and, you know, growing up, she has always been the symbol of comfort, <laughs> literally, because it's really nice to eat. But she, because, you know, my, my Lola is a very gentle, mahinhin Lola. So whenever I would tell her things, I just, there was one time I was just eating in front of her and she, she just asked me, okay ka lang, naluluha na ako. Ganun yung effect ng Lola ko sa akin. Um, and I, I wrote this song, Mapa Uwi Na, for her because um, growing up, I watched her and I grew up with my grandparents and I kind of saw that sabi ko, yun yung, ganyan yung gusto kong pag-ibig, yung tumatanda. <laughs> and, you know, they have their highs and lows, but they're still together and they're so solid. So, minsan, may bisita ako sa bahay nila. And I just really admire that they've been together for so long. And they're still so clingy to each other. Um, and one of the lyrics in Mapa Uwina is, Ma, ano bang sekreto ng matagpuan? But the complete sentence is, Ma, ano ba yung sekreto ng matagpuan mo si Papa? Because that's the kind of love na hindi pang what if. So, um, yeah, I wrote that. And, you know, my some of my fans have messaged me na parang kinakwento nila yung kwento ng buhay nila sa akin sa DMs ng Instagram. <laughs> And then ako naman, may nabasa ako, super invested. And I think one thing that I can get from that this, so this song has really impacted a lot of, specifically young girls. Kasi, you know, during those formative years, you need all the support you can get. And I'm, I'm just glad na yung family ko, present sila ng formative years ko. So, this next song, I won't be singing with any instrument. And I just wanna share with you um, this last one, which is Travel, Mapa Owina. Chapters are tracked like the radio, it's stuck on replay. So the car with the rolls down in summer again. And I never saw you before it began. To honestly tell you the book a pain when people part ways without knowing what they want to say so they blur the lines and they leave it at that they tend to the wrong wounds and never look back mm -hmm. so i took a trip to
Thank you. So that was, that was travel. <laughs> um, yeah, I think travel was, for me, it was just, it's a diary. It's, it's a journal entry of all of the things I've been through. And it's, it's a journey that I hope a lot of, well, specifically a lot of young girls can relate to. A lot of girls who are now currently in high school at 17 probably love sick. And sana mahanap niyo yung ma niyo sa buhay niyo. The person that you can just tell everything to na ma, love sick ako ngayon eh. Or ma, nag abroad yung crush ko, di ako nakaamin. Or ma, I, I hurt this girl that didn't deserve to be hurt. Or ma, I just missed this friend I had in high school na yung locker niya, nasa ibabaw ng locker ko. Just those things that Minsan kailangan mo rin kasing ibigay yung burden, i-share yung burdens mo with other people. And I guess that's one thing that I learned in travel, that it's okay to depend on people sometimes. Na minsan kailangan mo din talaga ng ma, at kailangan mo din umuwi. So I hope that, you know, to all of my listeners and to all of the people who supported me, na mahanap niyo yun sa buhay niyo. And I just want to thank you again, everyone, for coming. <laughs> Um, I want to thank, I guess, I, I want to thank, I'm going to thank everyone now. Thank you, Sir Roxy. <laughs> thank you, Sir Roxy, our um, head in star music, um, in ABS-CBN music. And I want to thank Sir Rox, Sir Rox, <laughs> my producer and the label head of Star Pop. For without him, hindi talaga mag exist at all yung EP na to. And to Sir Jonathan for just really supporting me. And Miss Abby for grounding me. And to my team then sila Ate Jai, sila Ate um, Brie, and sila Kuya Troy, and um, Ate Leila. I just wanna thank you everyone. Um, and also I wanna thank my friends. <laughs> who came here today. Um, most of them were my high school friends and some were my college friends and the people who supported me um, and especially to Tito June <laughs> for giving me that push that I really needed at that time um, and to the people that have really helped me cope with today. Thank you. Um, and I just want to thank my parents also. And... Grabe, guys! Sila yung napagod yung araw na to. Um, and I want to thank Miss Priscilla. I want to thank her so much for coming here today. And most importantly, I want to thank my father up in heaven, which is God. I just want to thank him. Uh, I just want to let you know that you guys have watered the soil I am on today. And... Um, and... Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And I'm just really thankful that God really orchestrated this whole thing. And I, I'm doing all of this para sa kanya. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Maki Sab, Ate Trish, for being here today. I love you guys. Um, so yes, thank you guys so much. That is my EP. Thank you, Bao. <laughs> Call me poetic, a hopeless romantic, but this just cannot be heard. <laughs> Romantic comedies to blame, oh don't look at me, is that the main cause of this mess? Hey, I think I'm sick with some sort of disease, is it? 